Hello, YouTube viewers and random Marvel fans. This is the Candy Geeks Captain Marvel Pager. I've been a big collector of prop replicas over the years, and it's often a case of the rarer the better. I enjoy picking up replicas produced by independent companies, as usually there's much more love and effort put into them than a mass-produced product. One such company is Candy Geeks, the company behind the 2016 Ghostbusters Proton Pack replica. This time, they've gone smaller, with a replica of the pager used by Nick Fury to call Captain Marvel back to Earth at the end of Infinity War, which was given to him by Carol as a leaving present at the end of the Captain Marvel movie. It's an odd little piece, but I think it's very cool. So without further ado, let's take a closer look at it. The pager comes as is with no box, so we can safely skip that part. The casing is completely 3D printed, saving on the cost of tracking down the actual pager model used for the on-screen prop. The actual print has been very well done, with little indication that it's been printed. You can see some of the lines on the sides, but the rounded sections have been made very sharply and given a smooth finish. The pager is also coated with a dark wash to weather it and make it look roughed up, which is a nice touch, while the glossy silver paint helps to make it look like the cheap plastic casing a 90s pager would have. Have. The various bells and whistles which have been added to it look very good too, despite not being fully accurate when compared side by side with the movie version. Some paint apps are missing as well, which I might fill in at a later date as they would really help to bring out the detail. As for the screen, it is somewhat smaller than the real prop, but this is no doubt deliberate in order to fit the screen, which actually works, something that sets this pager aside from other replicas made. A big switch on the underside activates its lights and sounds. As you can see, the pager screen displays the word sending, accompanied by a series of electronic beeps, which is followed by the accurate animation of the Captain Marvel logo. This is an excellent addition, which really gives the pager an added kick of realism. The screen will eventually loop back around to the sending animation, but without the bleeping sound, so it can be displayed while switched on without the sound effect becoming annoying. This is powered by a whopping three Adreno systems, with the animation custom programmed by Danielle of Candy Geeks, offering a glimpse of the hard work which has been put into its creation. There are two ports on the pager. One at the bottom can be used to reprogram or update the pager, while one at the top acts as a charging port to refill the LiPo battery should it run out. A USB charging cable has also been included, and a red light will illuminate beside this port as the pager charges. So overall, what do I think of the Candy Geeks Captain Marvel pager? Well, I think it's great enough. Drafted in Anthony from Tupney Milk. Tapane. Tapane Milk Tapane. to uh, give his thoughts on it. Uh, I think it's really impressive for what it is. Uh, it's a 3D print. It looks the part. My one issue, if I did be a nitpicky little so-and-so, which I'm inclined to be, is that the length of the screen isn't long enough. Is it? Because in the movie it comes out to about here. Ah. But aside from that, I'm really, really happy with it. You know, like It's, it's not 100% perfect. There are a couple of little bit of... Uh, issues with detail and like certain things haven't been colored in what have you but like just to look at it to have it, it looks well, the part yeah. it feels like it's the right size as well uh, the effects on it are really great because it's one thing just to have a little replica yeah. or for someone to go out and actually track down the pager itself add all the accurate modifications to it and go yeah yeah that's just my little Captain Marvel pager does mm. it work? no well guess what Candy Geeks have made theirs work Yes. I think it looks great in fairness, this, is, this impresses me so much because we've seen what they've done with the Proton Pack. Yeah. And that baffled me. And not in a good way. This, this is top tier. Yeah. This is really top tier. They even get the, the screen to do the Captain Marvel thing. Yeah. That is bad. Even the, even the sound effects, everything. Yeah. Perfect. I like that as well. I like the fact that when, when you watch it kind of turn on, you almost can hear the score from that yeah. uh, Infinity War end credit sequence. <sighs> dun, 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 dun. You yeah. just get the, you get the chills, do you? I guess it's class, yeah. And the fact that it loops as well. But it, it like uh, this is a deliberate decision that Candy Geeks made as well, that Danielle made, which is whenever it loops, it doesn't make the same sound again. Yeah, it just continuously loops. But if you switch it off, switch yeah. it on again, it'll do the beep. So like if you have it on display, it won't be constantly beeping all the time, which is really great. Like the three little LEDs across the bottom uh -huh. are a lovely touch as well. And obviously you were saying about the Adreno systems used in this. Oh man, see if you open this up, which I highly recommend not to do, Stephen. Yes, <laughs> but yes. if you do do that, 
it is cool. The fact is that it all of this is compact. And it's got a little tiny battery that holds power, but the Arduino is actually to, to program this. Mm -hmm. Now, you program an Arduino, I, I leave it alone. I don't go near it. Mm -hmm. It angers me. So, someone who takes the time to not only 3D print this, but to put it, to, to make the, LED, the, the LCD screen to, to work, the LEDs, wire them all up, like the circuit board and everything, you, you, it takes passion. Yeah. This takes a lot of passion and programming. To have, like, I've seen uh, like Arduino systems and circuit boards and stuff like that and big props. Like the Proton Pack, plenty of room. Mm -hmm. If something goes wrong, you've got time, you've got a place to fix it. Everything's in here. Like, it is com amazing. The fact is, the detail of the fact that what she does is you can plug it in, program, if you want to put another program in, that's perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. the, put, even putting the charger in as well. The switch. I'm, I, I love my switches, man. <laughs> I know it sounds weird, but I love my switches. The fact yeah. is, it's a tiny switch. It's not the one switch that always breaks, and I know for fat kind of geese will agree with this. It's a little tiny button. I call it like the lighter button. Yeah, the little push button. Yeah. They eventually break, and it's annoying as hell. This, it's, it's perfect. Like you switch it on, switch it off. Like you'd have to be really, really rough with this, but collectors won't be rough with this. No. Because it is a target audience. It's for the collectors, it's for the fans, but it's ones that will appreciate this and actually have it in display. The, I love even the fact that it took the time out to even give you an instruction manual. Yeah, they give you a little instruction that. sheet and yeah. also thanks you as well for purchasing it yeah, in the first place as well. It's brilliant. Uh, I also like that the the, uh, the USB charger cable is included with it Fantastic. too. Fantastic. So you don't have to fiddle about with batteries or anything yeah. like that. It's literally just plug it in, recharge it, off you go. But not a lot of, and uh, uh, first, none of the prop people do this. Mm -hmm. They just build the prop, give it to you. That's your problem. I've done my bit, I've, that's your problem. The fact that Candy Geese takes the time out to actually go, right, if I'm a fan, what would I want? I would want a charger with it. I would want an instruction manual with it. I want to make sure that everything's working perfectly fine with it. To them, small little pieces make me want to go, yes, highly recommend buying this. It's also the fact that it really doesn't look 3D printed. I mean, no. like to the to the trained eye, you can tell in certain places where like 3D printing has been done. Mm. But uh, what's great about it is this is the Infinity War version. So this is the one from the Infinity War. This, this is the one that drops to the ground. This is the one that drops to the ground. This isn't the uh, the one used in Captain Marvel because it was brand new at the time. Yeah. So she's actually put the little scuff marks on it as well. The weathering, man. Yeah, the weathering further uh, hides the fact that it's a 3D print. Yeah. Another thing with the 3D printer, and I've had experience with this, is like if you're trying to make a prop and you're trying to not to have now your 3D printer goes side to side, mm. and you have the lines, and if you like, like the way this one is, it's smooth. Yeah. When you see a 3D print and stuff, it's always rough. You can actually feel it. This is this is actually smooth. Like looking at it from there, it looks like you took it out of the TV yeah. and you have it in your hand. No, it is. It's only when you look at it really close up you can see. Yeah. There's, there's a few little inaccuracies here and there, but like from a distance, I oh. think you oh. had this on your belt, man. Yeah. And you're walking around. People be like, oh my god, that's his page. That's the cup more. That's what you yeah. want. That's what you want it's, with these products. I think the big selling point for me is the fact that it's electronic. You can switch it on, it does exactly what it does in the movie, and it's for an affordable price. Yes. So I'd say for the like to recommend this, I'd say to the people who want a Captain Marvel pager but they don't want to pay through the nose for one. Yes. This is the perfect substitute. I would even go further to go like give as much love to Candy Geeks because 100% yeah, yeah. As a builder, as a person who builds stuff, holding this, I can tell the passion went into this. Mm. And that's one thing about it is you can be a builder, you can just throw out all this here and and there is a lot of stuff on online that is is absolute crap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's that's putting it lightly. No, I but mean, this is unbelievable. Like in the end, I'm a big fan of collecting little prop replicas and stuff from Marvel. As you can see, with a, a collection of here range. on the table, uh, I'm more than happy to add this to it. I think this is great. Do you know uh, uh, now? Now the kind of keeps giving you this. I'm actually going to start to make the claw that you hold it in. You know, it holds yeah, it in the yeah, yeah, yeah. You see in the uh, the Captain Marvel yeah. credit scene. Just yeah. just have it sitting the on claw, display. On yeah. display there. Why do you make me want more stuff? Because I am an enabler. Why do you do that? <laughs> Come that was, on, man. That, that would have made would a great not? little display piece. Because you know the way, like there. with the arc reactor here, we have the little display piece yeah. there. Like, ah. Uh, Look at that. Look at this. Look at that. Damn it. 
and Candy Geeks probably will do that. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, thanks very much for watching this review. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like, subscribe, share the video around. Massive, massive thank you to Candy Geeks for sending this out to us. You can check out our other review we did on the uh, Ghostbusters 2016 Proton yes. Pack. Another fantastic build by them as well. Uh, you can like the Facebook page, like the YouTube channel, all that sort of stuff. It's all in the, 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 the description down. below. Uh, and also support us on Patreon if Which you can as well. Bad. It'll be over our head somewhere too. <laughs> Thanks very much for joining me, Anthony. Thank you Thank very you much. Thank you very much for watching. Farewell.